So another four goals conceded in pre-season. Should we be worried? So welcome to Manchester City 4, Chelsea 2. <laughs> So, four conceded against Celtic. Now, another four conceded against Manchester City. That's 10 goals conceded in four matches um, in pre season. And should we be worried by this trend? Um, the thing is, Manchester City, if it was Manchester City's double, um, double team is one back to back to back to back Premier Leagues, then I could say, okay, that's to be expected against a side who's learning their trade under a new manager. But this was Manchester City's B-string side. They're missing 12 or 14, is it, first-team players out of the tip players who will be playing on against us in 15 days' time. Um, you're, talk, you're looking at the likes of um, Silva wasn't there. Uh, Alvarez wasn't there. We had no Doku. We had no um, Rodri. We had no De Bruyne. We had no Kyle Walker. There was no John Stones, there was no Diaz, and uh, there was no Nathan Ake um, and Akanji. So that's a lot of players who, who are missing. But yeah, they still managed to work us out. Pep worked out. So I think the master beat the apprentice. He knows his style of football. He knows how to nullify it. And today it showed. Um, and... We, it, did, it doesn't help when you give them two goals in the first five minutes. Um, the first goal, I thought, was a little bit harsh. The penalty, no way was that a penalty. Um, the referee was trying to make a name for himself, I believe. Very soft penalty. Harlem puts it away. But then, I think, but, but even with that penalty, it shouldn't have come to that in the first place. Anyway, Rhys James with a sloppy pass. Turnover, which led to the penalty in the first place. And then, what do we do? 15 seconds later, a bad back pass by Kai Sado, look way off the pace today, and Haaland slots the ball away to make it two. Um, then I thought we played okay actually after that goal. We sort of um, didn't drop our heads. We, we we were playing some decent football, but with Nick with um, Nkuku as a false nine, it wasn't working. So I hope he doesn't experiment with this again because he looked ineffective in that false nine position. And we weren't as as you know, we were, uh, our ball possession was quite good, our passing was good, but again, nothing happening in, in the final third. And uh, second half comes along, Oscar Bob, what a player, looks a great player. That's what I'm saying. He'll probably walk into our, our side on that right hand side, or you know, have a chance at least. But he scores a fantastic goal, cutting inside, first time near post, wrong foots the goalkeeper by hitting it into the near post. And then what happens? Once again, straight after that goal within 15 seconds we give away another goal and this was courtesy to um i think no that one the first one was courtesy to a back pass by raheem sterling which allowed oscar bob to score that goal and then i think it was another turnover that led to the harland goal can't remember who turned it over this time who was it who passed it uh, was it Jews or somewhere? I can't remember who it was. Who, who, you know, a, a, again, a pass that, that was intercepted by Manchester City to allow um, Haaland in to complete his hat trick. You know, I'm saying that they had their B team out, but when you've got Earl and Haaland, that's a difference maker. And that's the problem with us. You know, we haven't got that, 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 that goal scorer. And the fit, fact is, we're saying that the likes of Nico Williams, Elise, Oshimen, um, we don't fit into our structure. Not fit into our structure. Uh, the, the, the price is a bit high for them. But if you want premium players, you pay premium price. So instead of getting these 10, 15 million pound players who are never going to play for the club, the money would have been better um, spent on top quality players and their wages. Because you need at least three or four stellar players in your side. And Manchester City has showed. If... if, if um, uh, Harlem wasn't playing today, it may have been a more even game. So even with their B, as I said, with their B team out, with somebody of this quality, it kind of um, gives gives you a chance. And um, with uh, Nkuku moving back, we saw the introduction of Gueyu. I think he's a good player, but again, it highlighted the need of a 
out you know a proper finished article striker rather than a work in progress because Nkuku as I said was making more things happen in the middle of the pitch great through ball to Gwei. Um first of all we scored to make it 4-1 actually and that, that was um good that's what I'm saying and plus let me talk about the shape actually while I'm while on, on this subject so the shape we had four central midfielders I think we started with Drew Hall. we, um, we had uh, Caicedo we had Enzo who again who looked off the pace for me and uh, we had Lavia all playing in like a box midfield type and it didn't work because this type of football that Enzo wants he wants his you know he needs to. He likes his, his, his wingers to hug the the, the touchline. He had Drews Hall as a kind of winger, but he's not an out and out um, touchline hugging winger. So it, you know the the tactics weren't there. And the less said, the least said about um, Mudrich, the better. I forgot he was on the pitch half the time. Um, not a, ineffective on the left in the games. Moving to the right, just as ineffective. Poor outing from him. And then when he made those substitutions, bringing on um, Madwaker and Sterling, we looked a better outfit. We looked, you know, we were threatening a bit more, and that's where the goal came from. Good run by Madwaker, good cross, fantastic volley by um, Sterling, and four-one kind of made the scoreline a little bit more respectable. And it should have been four-two straight afterwards, which could have given us a an exciting finish, really, because as, as I was gonna say. Um, and Cuckoo threads the ball through to Gwei. Gwei shoots the ball and hits it wide. You know, and a Harlan in that position, it's an easy goal. And that's why I said we had someone like Oshiman or somebody, then I feel that he puts that one away. And that's what we need. We need an accomplished attacking player. Um, and then Manchester City, I think. Um, uh, Pep Guardiola was feeling a bit sorry for his, his ex. Uh, colleague Enzo, so he decided to go easy on us and make a raft of substitutions, including taking off Ortega, who've made a fantastic save before um, on um, from a Madueke shot, um, and he decided, you know what, well, I'll just put on my C team. So they were putting on C team, and from that we managed to score a goal uh, through pass um, to uh, Madueke, and a great finish by Madueke. Had Ortega been on the pitch, would it have been a goal? We had Carson in goal for that one. Ortega is an excellent goalkeeper, spread themselves, good at winning from one to one situation. Uh, but uh, Madueke, I'm not taking anything from Madueke, it was a neat finish, slotted it into the goal and made the scoreline a little bit more respectable 4 2. But going into the season now, we just need to uh, eradicate these stupid errors that we are making. Um, you know, we made a few against uh, Celtic. Could have been a few more against Celtic, and you know, Man City are clinical. They didn't have a lot of chances. I think uh, Sanchez only had to make a couple of other saves apart from that. They had about six shots on target. They scored from four. And in the Premier League, it's unforgiving. So you can't go into the Premier League make a mistake on, on upon mistake on, on upon mistake. So is it the personnel? Is it the way we're set up? Do we need an extra defender you can who's comfortable playing from the back? We've got quite a few defenders already. Um ironically Shalabar's one of the better ones that play from the back, but they don't want to play him. Don't know why. But um as I said, attacking wise I'm seeing some promising things, but still worried about the defence going into the Premier League. So, what are your thoughts about the game of the friendly? If you watched it, see your comments in the section below. And don't forget, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to be notified when I make a video. So, take care. Bye.